Hello everybody, hello everybody. Jay Leone back today. Um, been a long time again since I've been on here. As you probably could already tell, I'm getting over a cold, kind of nasally going on still, trying to get rid of that. I've been sick for over a week. <clears throat> I'm still shaking it, but the show must go on. I have stuff to review and stuff to tell you about, and uh, I'm going to do it. You may have also noticed different room, different scenery. I uh, got a desktop, thanks to my brother, um, and I'm actually fixing it. It's an older desktop, and I'm putting new stuff in it. As soon as I get that working, this is where it's going to be shot from. I got my desk, uh, desktop, I got my laptop on my desk with my desktop, but the desktop isn't working yet, so we're using the laptop still, so hopefully we'll have better quality HD videos. That was the goal um, of doing this whole setup and actually having somewhere stationary to do the videos and reviews. Let's excuse me, it's morning. I gotta have my coffee and a vape. So yes, I am back. I'm finally back. I have a lot to get to. Uh, this is supposed to be the week of the DNA 30 clones. Uh, so exciting week coming. Uh, so hopefully there will be a few reviews this week. If not, um, they'll be coming a lot quicker to you. Today is Wednesday. Uh, not my usual video day, but I didn't want to put this off till Friday because I might have other stuff to do on Friday. So I'm just going to shoot it now. And uh, that's it. I'm here. I'm back. Let's do this review. Today we are looking at the EH Pro clone of the K-Fun. Yeah, you can tell everybody. So, review time today. We're looking at a K Fun clone. Yes, K Fun has been cloned numerous of times. Um, this is actually the newest clone that came out on the market. And I thought it looked pretty interesting, so I, you know, I was like, let's get that, let's review that. Something actually, some differences between this K Fund and the other K Funds that are out there on the market. Excuse the lighting, it looks a little dark in here. I think I might need uh, a light or some sort to brighten up my face, um, which is all scraggly anyway. You don't really want to see it. But um, yeah, we'll get that lighting taken care of. I have one light over there, and it doesn't seem to be doing much. It's, and I have the windows open, and it still looks pretty dark in here. But, anyways, <laughs> enough rambling. These, this K Fun clone comes from EH Pro. Well, the makers are EH Pro. I got it from 101vape.com, the fast tech of the USA, in my opinion. They have probably one of the better prices out there and anything, and it ships from the US, and you get it relatively quick. Uh, three or four days shipping, pretty standard for any US vendor. Uh, 101 Vape, let's get to them real quick. They are very, very good customer service. I had an issue with one of the uh, clear. Um, windows that came with it. It was stripped. I contacted them. I sent them a picture of the issue and uh, they got back to me right away. Literally within an hour they answered, resolved the issue and that night they had it already packed and shipped. Um, a new clear tank for me and I got it two days later. So super, super um, I'm on the customer service end. So I definitely highly recommend their customer service and just 101 vape in general. I have another vape here. I guess I have it on my MVP. Since I've been sick, obviously I've been doing lower nicotine and uh, <clears throat> lower voltages slash wattages. And it actually doesn't look all that bad on here. <laughs> it looks pretty good. And it performs relatively well. Let's see what I've got it set at. I've had 7.5 watts. And this is a 1 ohm. If you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's a 1 ohm. Seven and a half watts. <laughs> it's it's kicking ass. I don't even know what it's really putting out because I didn't know this actually went down to an ohm, but it does. And it's not weak by any imagination. It's a strong, strong vape still. So I got it on there. I got it from 101vape.com. Um, it was thirty nine ninety nine plus two bucks shipping, so it was like forty forty two bucks ish. 
shipped to your door. It's a more expensive K-Fun clothes, but I'll explain why and what's different about this in the up close section. Because uh, for 40 bucks, it's it's a pretty good clone. I mean, I have a, a legit K-Fun 3.1 and a Russian sitting above me right now, 91%. So I have authentic Saint clones, and this is my actual first K Fund ish clone, and it's spot on. It's spot on. Um, let me set up the camera here. We'll do a little uppy closey or close up time, and we'll look at it and differentiate what's different between this one and the other K funds that are on the market today. All right, so here we are up close. Um, excuse the angles, cause new room, new area got to get the close-up camera angles correct so it's gonna take me some time to figure that out but we'll do with this angle for now um, <clears throat> so the K fun clone this is from EH Pro like I was saying but this clone in particular is a clone of the K fun light plus version 2 is what they're calling it and I looked on vape rev they're the uh, resellers of the K funds and they have the K-Fun Lite version 2, or they're calling it second batch. Um, and they did make some changes. Full Mesto uh, made some changes on the original K-Fun. And this clone is the clone of the newest, the absolute newest version of the K-Fun Lite Plus. This is the K-Fun Lite Plus version 2 clone. So, in those changes, <clears throat> from what I can understand... They changed the fill port here. Let's get some focus. Because, oh boy. Alright. Okay. So on this version here, with the fill hole, they have recessed the fill port on it. So, you remove that screw, you'll see that it sits, the hole for filling sits a little bit deeper in there. And it's got an O-ring on there to prevent leaking. They've done all that to prevent leaking, because on my Russian... This guy here, on the fill hole here, it is, you can see how it's just flat with the device. And over here it's recessed. Um, on the Russian, I do get some leaking from here. So I put an O-ring in there, and that seems to slow the leaking down a little bit. But still get leaking nonetheless. So it's a nice upgrade they did. And it's nice that the clone already has it. So And they were just released. The logoing... On this, on the newest K funds, this is how the logo is going to be, and this is how it is also on the clone. Uh, made in Germany, it's got Mr. Sav God, okay, Mr. Svo Meso's logo right there. Then it says designed in Russia, 2014. Um, it's got a date, um, and then you got the smallest hole here which is your airflow control. So you can adjust the airflow on it. It's on the bottom, unlike the uh, Russian here, which has the airflow adjustment screw right there on the side of it. I personally like it on the bottom. Uh, maybe more of a bitch to adjust because you got to take it off the device to adjust, but it takes to the aesthetics of the device, and you only have this one intake air hole over here and nothing else, so it kind of just looks sleek. So I personally like that having it on the bottom of the device. Um, yeah, that's, from what I understand, the new stuff about it, and obviously the drip tip. They have changed the drip tip. So instead of having this drip tip here, K-Fun style drip tip, the K-Fun on the, the K-Fun, the drip tip on the new versions of the K-Fun will all look like this. You can, um, personally, I love it. I love the look of it. Um, it's kind of got, I don't know, some ridges. It's a double O-ring. Um, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable drip tip. Um, so that's the changes on the new K-Funds that are out there. Uh, here's a... Uh, let me get this off my device. Here's an old K-Fund. This is a K-Fund 3.1, which you can't get anymore. Uh, they stopped making these ones. So you could see... And then let me get a drip tip on here. Give you a full look. The two side by side. The 3.1 is obviously bigger. This is a light. Um, this is the light, sorry. And this is the 3.1. Uh, 
sells those two side by side, and then here's the Russian, which is pretty much the same size as the uh, K Fun clone. So there you go. I personally like to look better on this one. I like the finish. It's not a real shiny finish. It's a it's more of a brushed finish. It's kind of shiny, but it doesn't pick up fingerprints like this bad boy does. You can tell the shininess on that guy. So there's that. And okay. Now let's take it apart just to show you some of the innards. While we're here, we'll rewick and cotton this um K Fun clone here. So drip tip just comes off. It's a 510 drip tip. You can put any drip tip you want in here, no issues whatsoever. I'll take off the top cap. Threading on here all seems to be fine. It seems to be machine very well. EH Pro knows what they're doing. Take this top cap off. See, top cap there, and the uh, stem actually just goes right into there. And different actually from my Russian is if we could see here, the O ring on the top cap is actually inside. You kind of see it peeking there. It's inside this little chamber. Now, on the old ones, it was just sitting against, so it, you would always either lose it or come out or it wouldn't just stay stationary. So this one's actually inside the cup there. So that's a little design change they did. I don't know if that's on this version 2, or well, that's just the way each pro does it. I'm not really sure. But on a Russian, the old ring just sits atop of the top cap. So we got that. Let me get juice all over my rag, but whatever. Um, then we got the stainless section here. You know what? Before it tears apart, I'm doing this backwards. Let's show you the box. Let's show you what comes in it. Here's the box. <laughs> Here's the box. Alright, there's the box. EH Pro, very nice box. I like it very much. Um, some serial number here of some sort. And then the box will just fly open. God. Let me just fix this real quick. Okay. So once you open the box up, you're going to find a stainless steel tank section. You're going to find some wire in here. You're also going to find the focus isn't working again. Come on. Yeah, man. You're also going to get. One of these little mini screwdrivers, which I love. I have a lot of them now. They're great. You're going to find your your clear window in here. This is the clear window that was stripped. And uh, 101 Vape was nice enough to send me a replacement. So that's why I have two of these. This one's garbage. And, and you're going to get some Eco Woo. Eco Woo. Eco Wool. And you're going to get a baggie of spare O-rings. And you got some screws in case you lose them. You got some uh, O-rings for drip tip. So you're getting everything. And you're going to get this. Which is the clear tank for this bad boy. I had the clear tank on it um, for a couple days when I first got it. Because I've always wanted the clear tank for it, the M tank. And uh, I found that... I personally like the standard tank on there. It just, I don't know, it doesn't look like a K-Fun with this on there. It just does not. And I love that K-Fun look, so I don't want to take that away from it. Let me get all these pieces and parts out of the way. So you're getting everything you need in this nice presentation box. Um, okay, and back to the main attraction. The way I have it set up. So like I said, you, you're going to get the stainless, the full clear tank, and the clear window. So you have any way you want to set it up. And let's get it apart because it's always just a little bit of a trick to get apart. Especially because this is the first time taking it out. Alright, there we go. And we got the one piece here. And then you'll have the uh, the rest of it here. The reds are nice and buttery smooth. And then these two do come apart. I just don't feel the need to take them apart. And your standard K-Fun area there. 
You know what? I was going to re-wick it and everything, but I'm not actually going to take the bell off because I don't want to mess with my cotton. It's working very well. Um, if you want to see what's under there, go look at a Kate, my uh, Russian review. It's the same thing. Everything's solid quality. Nice channels for your juice to go through here. Um, you can see the little fill hole. You can see that little... Um, where is it? Right there. The little fill hole there. That's when you take that screw out, you shoot juice in there, and that's how it fills up. See your channels on the sides here. Right there's one. And then on the other side, we have the other one right there. So those are your juice channels. Like I said, it was going to re-wick it, but I have decided heavily against it. Because when K-Fun's working well, it's working well. And, you know, the chimney comes off just like any K-Fun. It's pretty standard. Pretty standard. I recommend the K-Fun to almost everybody. Um, I'm going to fill my tank back up put it together, clean my hands here because I'm all sticky from the juice, and we'll get back and talk a little more about it. So, you saw <clears throat> the K-Fun Lite Plus version 2 um, up close. And the difference is and what makes it so special. I really do love this drip tip on it. I have it on a Nemesis clone right now. It just looks completely beautiful on here. This matches up real nicely. Um, the drip tip, as far as that goes, it's in there real good. <laughs> it's tight. When I got it, actually, it was a little too tight. Um, just by inserting and in, you know, pulling it in, putting it in and out, the drip tip loosened up a little bit, and now it sits on there just flush, and it just looks great. It doesn't wobble whatsoever. It's it's stationary. Terrific vape. I have it at about one ohm right now. I'm vaping my deadly sin, which I love. Can't get enough of that juice. And it's just great. It's a great clone. I definitely recommend this one for somebody that's never had a K fun, somebody that wants to try a K fun, somebody that has 30 K funds and wants another K fun. It's affordable. That's machine well. It looks beautiful. It's the newest version out there. It's 40 bucks and from a vendor that ships. Um, really fast and the customer is just great so there's really no risk no worry when ordering from them so I highly 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 recommend this K fun I'm gushing over it a little bit because I I mean I have the Russian which I use every day um, with my other all-day vape in there and I have my K fun 3.1 which I use on an every other day basis with my other favorite juice in here now this one I'm I'm not as big of a fan. Hold on one second. <sighs> Always. Um, just because it's polished. And I hate polished things. But I love all three of these equally. Um, besides for the finish on this one. So, they're great devices. But that's all I got. Um, get back in the swing of things here. This K1 just does not want to stand still. Um, we'll keep doing reviews. Uh, the Hanna DNA 30 clone coming very soon. Hopefully this week will be here. As soon as it gets here, I'll be the first one to upload the video for you guys. So you can see if these things are legit, legitly uh, functional or just vile garbage. I'll let you know my honest opinion. Um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll post the uh, subscribe link over here. I always do that. Um, thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for sticking with me. I'm getting better so the videos will be pumping out soon. Uh, Till next time, live well and vape on, guys. Take care. Maybe I should unlock my device.